uh, to retain the form and find the user's positions within some events so that know the user's positions with very high precision. Uh, this is combined with this is combined with the gyroscope of the mobile phone. And finally, the system can know where the user looks at. It, the, the, it would know the user is looking at the library and tell him turn left, turn right, go upstairs, go downstairs. Uh, also, cameras are located inside the room, and uh, uh, so as the system knows which room has many people, which room has less people. Uh, and finally, system in Duke and Leah Arrest is used to, to tell the user go front, go left, go right, and navigate the user so with audio directions it, she can move into the space and go from one room to another. Finally, if he wants to locate a book or to check the title of a book, he, he, he can view this NFC object notification from his mobile phone. The same system can be can furthermore be installed in buses but it must be simpler as the area of a bus is very smaller, is much more, much smaller than that than this of a room. Only one beacon and one camera is used. No NFC recognitions, no objects exist in the bus. But we will use a sensor on the seat for people with special needs. So as the driver knows when the user is has sat or has stood up and not a not move the bus at the same time. Finally, instead of a, of a personal computer, we will use a system of chip, just as Raspberry, if you know, but it will be some a, a, a bit better. It will be an sophisticated with better specs. Finally, the user just needs to have some headphones with microphones so as has his hands free, and a smartphone with these specs. Because he, because each one of them needs so as to cooperate with the systems, and our system will be installed in approximately in different public services and buses. The total installation of our system, cameras and servers and beacons, will be around thirty-two thousand dollars, and the annual uh, maintenance cost will be around $2,000. Mm -hmm. our, uh, our application uh, will, will have a monthly uh, subscription of, one, year, of one, one, one euro per month uh, after the first month. The first month will be free. In order to produce, in this way, in order to produce a recap, um, this will take approximately uh, 3.5 years. So, uh, furthermore, extra work can be done in order to expand our system. The same, the same idea uh, can be used for the same idea for AD navigation can be used in other places uh, such as street lights or uh, city squares. Um, also. Um, Um, also, if our system become, becomes popular in the, the city of Patras, it can uh, other cities can use it too uh, to help other other blind individuals that uh, are living in other cities. Uh, last but not least, our our system will will implement the basic infrastructure for a smart city. In, the, in this way, other applications that can be developed for from other companies. They can, can use our infrastructure, our uh, servers or uh, network uh, to produce their, their application and help, uh, and help move the city one step forward to a more advanced and friendly, to be more advanced and friendly. Thank you very much. Do you have any questions? Okay, we just talk about the data path privacy law, because that's as you, you need to tell us, you, you are planning to, uh, to, to, to install cameras in, in public buildings yes. and also in mm -hmm. is, is, is this allowed? Or? Yes, so we thought about it, and we decided that the video from the cameras will not be stored in any storage service, 
but it will be processed immediately, and only the numbers of the number of the total people in each room will be transmitted to global server. It has the uh, image or video will be deleted immediately, and it will and this will be uh, secured by by constant checks from the authorities if perhaps it may be. Uh, 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 I think that uh, you install one camera per room. I think we may install more depending on the algorithm we will use to to, to find how many people exist, and also on the on the shape of the room. If there are if there are hidden rooms or or angles, we may install okay. more than one. Uh, you will have a, a, a lot of uh, traffic, of data traffic. If you have, uh, if you install in a in a building uh, uh, 100 cameras, do, do you have imagine the, the, the data traffic? The data traffic in the local network and the server, the local server uh, has been installed in the same building. So that it, so it's enough if we just install a strong network, a strong internal network. The global server will just take the numbers. Of the uh, do, do you have any uh, uh, technique to, to reduce the, the, the need of, uh, of yes, such we, a huge we, uh, data traffic? We could cluster the rooms and use a computer in each room to calculate that. Or even we could do the same processing on the camera. But that depends on the infrastructure and the algorithm we will use. One more time, one more time, how do you find the uh, total code channel? Total budget. Total breakdown. Yes. yes. 32,000 yes. investments. Yes. I understood. Did you have a breakdown? How, how you came to this? Uh, yes, we have a detailed uh, table in our report. Uh, uh, Just how many, how many cameras? Uh, I think there are in total of uh, 25 buildings of apartment services. In these, they are varying of their size. Uh, some of them are bigger, so they need more cameras. Uh, and um, I don't know the exact number of cameras right now, but we used as about uh, four cameras at uh, 500 square, uh, about 50 square meters. Four cameras at 50 square meters? Three to four, I, about, we do not remember the number, but something yeah. like that. And also there are more, uh, but it's not just like that, the cost of the camera, it's many, the many, many, the the many the computers, the even the global server. To have the connection. Yes, and even the installation development of the system costs and the annual maintenance costs. And the return of investment? Yes. We uh, will have a monthly subscription. We suggest a monthly subscription, uh, but the local council will decide about that. And in about 3.5 years, if we if 750 about people use this, and about 10% stop using this after the first month, uh, we will recap the investments in about. Also, the first month could be free as a trial and assessment and. Uh, how two more questions. First of all, uh, why are you going to use beacons only for information like the guy is a uh, place that we can uh, go inside and do your navigation easily or something else? We will use beacons to, to, local, to locate the human, the user, inside the building. Because if we use just a GPS, the accuracy is 2 to point to 10 to 15 meters. So we need a uh, uh, accuracy to some sediment so that we can find the location, the direction from the common mobile phone and the exact location and we can take him go one step forward, two steps right. And um, have you thought about how you will get finance sources for your idea? This money, how you will get it? We thought about some uh, European Union project, just as ESPA. But that's not very important because the total cost is just uh, is very low for for such a significant. It's just thirty two thousand, and we believe that even the local council could could uh, invest them and just 
take them back in the top 3.5 years. And that has a, a stable uh, date from 40 years. That means in the future, this will not be your project. You will develop the project and then that's all behind to, uh, to the major, to the to the local, to the community, but we would offer to maintenance the project and even develop the future. Yeah, it's the last Thank you.
here, so the live stream uh, audio is uh, okay. And we have five minutes for questions, ten minutes for presentations, and it starts from now. Good luck, guys. Hello, everyone. Uh, we are Ramada Two. Uh, who is uh, whose members are uh, Marina? Marina. Sirikopoulou, uh, Alton Sikalis, Maria Mazarini, Tapopoulou, and me, Chris Kikopoulos. And we are going to present you uh, our solutions about the tasks. Thank you very much. Analyzing the problem. We based our research in order to understand the life conditions and problems uh, of visually impaired people. And, and this came in two categories. Uh, the first category is urban environment. Um, first of all, navigation. The visually impaired has difficulties uh, in their effort to navigate um, around the city. For example, uh, lack of accountability uh, tiles at all pavements, uh, just if a uh, system uh, doesn't adjust at need of uh, um, uh, needs of uh, visually impaired uh, people, and uh, bumps, charcoals, uh, damaged uh, sidewalks, and are traces of physical integrity. Uh, second of all, uh, money transactions. Uh, uh, today's currency cannot be easily uh, identified, uh, thus making the uh, half by hand transactions uh, difficult. Okay, then we'll continue with the second category, which is home environment. Uh, first of all, padding breathing materials. Uh, while guidelines have been uh, made to accommodate the uh, visually impaired people, it is necessary to state two facts. First of all, a great number of books uh, and collections, both for academic, informative, as well as entertainment purposes, have yet to be translated to Bright. And secondly, the digitalization of traditional type books uh, has led to their conversion into PDF files, thus continuing the neglect of visually impaired people. Uh, concerning the navigation within the boundaries of their home, uh, common sense indicates uh, that visually impaired people are forced to memorize the surroundings of their home and for testing places uh, that commonly visit in order to avoid bodily harm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, taking into account the aforementioned reality, uh, we have formed the following business plan that we think works best and for advantage, as it uh, combines the best aspects of already existing technology, as well as uh, proposes a new business plan that can uh, work to our advantage. So, uh, first of all, we would like to present you our proposition that is the introduction of a three phase system. Uh, this uh, system includes a cane, a smart cane, uh, that has the following features. It uh, consists of a mini camera, an earpiece, uh, the cane, as well as sensors that can analyze obstacle, obstacles, acceleration, distance, orientations, and for the navigating user. I would like to mention in this uh, part that the prices that we have mentioned are retail, which are not retail, which means that they are uh, we present the, mo the more costly option, um, and that means that uh, for their construction it will of course uh, be uh, significantly cheaper. Uh, so the second part of this uh, sorry, of this uh, system is an ear fitting mindset. Uh, that includes an earpiece uh, that uh, will be able to receive constant and live transmissions for the features uh, from the features of the cane, as well as audio transmission directly to the user without him having having to do um, any other work. Uh, the mic, accordingly, will serve as a means for the user to be able to give uh, commands. Uh, thus being able to ask uh, various questions regarding his navigation, uh, the weather, any questions that he could possibly have. <coughs> and uh, finally, 
Uh, the third aspect of our proposition is, of course, the smartphone that will uh, serve as a proxy server. And by uh, this, uh, we mean that it will um, distribute the information provided from our uh, smart devices that are included on the chain, um, while also utilizing, um, uh, utilizing information that will be gathered from uh, other apps uh, on their phone, uh, which information will be derived from a cloud um, that contains uh, every form of data that could possibly be needed. Uh, in order, of course, we have to mention that in order for such a cloud to uh, be possible to work, uh, we cannot help but be necessary the installment of other smart devices that will be the ones that transmit uh, the data to the cloud, thus allowing the phone to receive the data from the cloud and transmit it to our uh, user so that he can accommodate his life. For example, Concerning the navigation of the user, uh, we propose the installment of smart devices such as smart traffic lights that will notify the user in real time so that he can be able to safely cross the road and uh, avoid any bodily harm. Uh, we realize that uh, by proposing uh, this um, solution, uh, we must take into account that a significant amount of resources must be offered in order for uh, all these smart devices to be able to be put um, in our uh, streets and other places. So, in order for us to, found, to find uh, sorry, uh, the necessary uh, funding, we cannot help but appeal to our um, to our officials, uh, such as our municipality, the government, and potentially other NGOs, uh, in order for them to be able to help us gather the required uh, funds for it to be a uh, plausible. Um, yes. We base uh, this assumption. That we base this uh, thought. Uh, assuming that um, as the government works works for the for the interests of their um, citizens, they will be uh, wanting to invest in such uh, formation. Okay, at the last screen we have the uh, the link canvas. Our main problem is the difficulty that visually impedes people are forced to face in daily basis, uh, and we have four solutions about that. First of all, the uh, utilization of Internet of Things, uh, con uh, that means connectivity. Yes, connectivity. Uh, second, the combinations of, vi of various uh, smart devices, third, to the safe navigation around places, and fourth, the uh, uh, utilization of the high bandwidth senses of hearing and touch. Our key metrics are through the number of uh, buyers and the cost to the review from US. Uh, a unique uh, value proposition, a unique of value the unique, the unique <laughs> value proposition of that is the direct flow of data uh, that is intended to uh, secure the physical safety for the visual uh, pain. Within the frame of our um, recognized content, we have the opportunity to present our idea to the target audience, that, and that's our uh, unfair uh, advantage. Um, so, we are going to uh, promote uh, our idea. Uh, through four uh, channels, the social media, the advertisement, uh, the uh, interpersonal uh, interactions, and the info in informatic uh, pieces uh, by tested fitness. And our customer segment, uh, segments are the visually impaired people and the multinational hardware and software companies that are in the field of uh, real estate development and export, uh, smart device and equipment. Uh, the cost of our structure uh, is basically the main road, uh, the smart phone, uh, yeah, the smart thing, uh, uh, which has the uh, mini camera about 46 euros, uh, the two sensors, uh, 220 to 250 euros, uh, the main cone, uh, 
day, uh, sorry, day, uh, about 20 to 30 euro. And uh, then the uh, real days, uh, about uh, 15 to 30 euros. So we have uh, um, total uh, 500 euros uh, at cost. So I'm suggested by 500 euros, and this price is. Uh, is um, uh, um, this price uh, is based about the uh, pieces, the commercial pieces. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We would like to close our presentation with this quote by a uh, Nobel Award uh, author Nathan Dickman. You will learn how the darkness is turned into light. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, I didn't understood your budget structure. This 500 are for, 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 for what? For, it's not a total investment, it's not a total budget. Our budget is the creation of our product. Yes. Um, we base those prices um, after researching and finding a common prices that are um, that each feature of our um, total three p system uh, exists online. But we cannot uh, tell you exactly the retail price as we do not have that sort of uh, communication with uh, providers. Uh, we propose it as a maximum cost of production. And we also uh, propose a secondary uh, price that uh, could, is our recommended selling price. But uh, concerning our gain, our earpiece mindset, and our, we, we do not include the smartphone in this um, previous system, as everybody has a smartphone these days. We do not have to accommodate this technique. Uh, yes, so what I would like to say is that we gave you the maximum uh, potential cost. But of course, as you, the constructed company will be dealing directly with uh, retailers, the cost will be significantly less. Sorry, I have a topic. What means, what means your role is to develop the idea. And somebody else has to implement, has to invest, has to make money, has to find the, 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 the sources for the investment. Uh, is it? Yes, we propose a business plan, that was our main goal, okay. because as a small group we cannot, uh, we are not able to cover all these funds, we do not have the, the name in the market okay. for yeah. other people yeah. to yeah. invest in us, so yes, we propose a business plan, we explain the advantages yeah. of our business plan. Good. Yeah. Okay, um, I have one, one, only one question. Um, you have proposed a, a device, uh, but uh, I have seen that uh, most of the sensors are also included in a smartphone. Why do you need a, a different device to communicate with a smartphone? There is also an accelerometer, uh, the, camera. The, the main uh, thing uh, has a detector at the end of it. So, uh, the blind detector. Line. Uh, can um, with this game search about uh, the surrounding uh, by far distance, but not with the phone and go like that. Uh, you can put it like in a, in a, in a, in a table that you have. Yeah. Yes, we find, we find that it is a better means uh, that accommodates, accommodates better to the needs of the visual interaction as. Uh, the usage of a smartphone requires him to be constantly like this. And say, for example, if he walks a couple of meters, uh, he might not be able to um, have enough time to uh, find out about an impending obstacle, as it uh, will depend on the height of the device uh, that you place the iPhone and other such things. But uh, with the usage of the cane, that nothing can in no possible way be replaced by a smartphone, we combine the traditional advantages of the cane, as well as maximizing its potential by 
things but, that I do. Okay. Uh, uh, you have studied the, 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 the cost of the hardware. Do you have imagined the, the cost of the software that you need? Yeah, cost. Uh, I don't have seen it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cost of uh, the software is about uh, 100 euros per uh, 50 uh, sensors. So, uh, we included this price uh, in uh, the sensors and then uh, the company can. Thank you. Do you have a question? Maybe I can get it back. Uh, and then, yet, what exactly problems are you going to solve and what information your device will have? Um, our device aims to. Uh, aims to solve all the aforementioned problems, but we specify that on the navigation system as we think that it is the first and most important step that the blind person must uh, conquer in order for him to be able to interact uh, easier on a daily basis. We propose this as the stepping stone, um, onto which other uh, potential developments can be uh, made at home. Um, all, the, all these problems that we mentioned on the first one uh, could potentially, could very easily be converted into software that uh, will be um, resolved through our uh, system. But in order for us to uh, give uh, the first and most important thing uh, to uh, our presentation, we thought that um, by introducing the first smart, de smart device, uh, we were taking the first milestone in order for us to achieve a better reality, tomorrow, a better tomorrow reality. Actually, we are at six minutes right now, so if you want to make one more question, you are able to, but we are out of time. Thank you. Are you okay? Okay, thank you very much.
Five means for the question round. Please speak loud and clear so we can have the audio for the live stream. You can take the slide by using the mouse and your time starts. Can you have a uh, lot of the same to the pass? You have the notes, you can write there. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, you can write there. You can write there. There are notes in your uh, presentation. No, I have the uh, PDF. Yes, that is a problem. Okay. No, no, no. no. no, no, no. Okay. 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 I'd like to say a few things about the difficulties that uh, these people um, have in their uh, everyday lives. And yeah, okay. So first of all, uh, they have uh, problems uh, navigating through the city, um, negotiating in uh, crowded areas, especially in train stations and airports, uh, finding uh, reading materials, uh, the books in Prague are too expensive. Uh, getting things uh, done uh, independently, they, are, uh, they depend a lot uh, in other people. And they have uh, difficulties reading labels, signs, and text in their uh, everyday objects. They're also doing their everyday chores is uh, also difficult. And uh, handling cash and withdrawing money from an ATM, also a problem. Pulling liquids. Engaging in fun and uh, activities and social events, it's not so fun when it's difficult. And uh, obtaining and maintaining employment. And uh, last but not least, accidents uh, at home, it's uh, something that uh, gets uh, often. 
Okay, so our main idea was to make an app in order the blind people to yeah. navigate through the city uh, more easily. So uh, the main the main aspect of this app is uh, oh, okay. This app is for the municipality. So the, the municipality will will put some uh, sensors in columns of traffic lights in the city, and they take the coordinates of uh, possible obstacles and through processing uh, in a cloud in a cloud uh, service, uh, the, the blind people can uh, take the clear a clear path in a road so they can avoid all obstacles. And these instructions will be given to them uh, in audio, maybe. And there are some other features. Mm -hmm. uh, furthermore, uh, uh, the app uh, provides information about uh, public uh, uh, means of uh, transport. Uh, for example, buses, uh, underground uh, trains. Uh, the user uh, can ask uh, uh, Information about the transportation, uh, arrival times, uh, or uh, any, anything about uh, the route. Uh, the, the app uh, will uh, using a uh, natural language uh, processing uh, uh, algorithm uh, process the questions and answer it properly. Another problem blind people may have is uh, uh, Finding a garbage bin where they can dispose of their garbage. Uh, Smart City is able to provide the solution by providing information about uh, the position and the availability of uh, every bin, uh, as well as uh, directions on how to reach uh, uh, a bin uh, which is not overflow. So we have a uh, network technology, uh, which is good. Uh, an IT platform would be utilized uh, as, a, as cloud, uh, uh, cloud storage for data. Um, uh, the position uh, uh, will be tracked. Uh, will be tracked uh, there. Uh, smart columns, uh, garbage bins, uh, and uh, will uh, have um, their data uploaded there. Uh, the characteristics of uh, this platform is that uh, it is secure, very secure. Uh, the, the data can be visualized and analyzed uh, so it can uh, keep, uh, know uh, about uh, if, if there's some failure or manufacturing of our uh, equipment, uh, software, etc. And uh, it is very, very fast and very reliable. In addition, uh, we are using a position tra uh, tracking system, uh, Galileo. It is a, a tracking system uh, created by the European Union. Uh, and uh, it is very precise and uh, reliable, uh, even more than uh, GPS. Hello, I'm Tassos, and I'm going to talk uh, to you about uh, the sensor we used to track the uh, distance and velocity of the objects nearby the subject and the budget we came up with. So, uh, we used a system uh, very similar to the... Uh, to the a automotive radar, which is based in a, a vision, which is a vision-based camera sensing system. It is based in frequent uh, frequency modulated continuous uh, wave radars. Uh, it uh, can go up to 77 GHz and can cover up to 150 meters of distance. Uh, the budget we came up with includes uh, $50 per column for the sensors, $2 per column for the antenna, 10 workers working for 100 hours, $2,000 per month for the IoT platform, and uh, 11, 
$110,000 for the creation of the app and the artificial intelligence program. Uh, the app will build a user interface, uh, which will be based on big symbols for the visual infrastructure, which uh, can uh, see them, okay, and mainly with audio instructions. And these are some ideas for the app, and they become okay. So, cover the main canvas. Uh, first of all, the problem. Uh, there is the problem of navigating through the city for the blind people, uh, their inability to find the objects, and uh, the dependency that uh, they have when it comes to doing uh, some things in their everyday lives. As for the existing alternatives, there are uh, some maps that uh, already provide uh, real time information about the different uh, means of transportation, and there are apps uh, for object identification, but um, they are not really user-friendly for blind people. Uh, our solution consists of uh, sensors throughout the city to help the blind people navigate in it. A uh, voice assistant based on uh, AI, the NLP technology we mentioned before, uh, providing information about uh, the means of transportation, and uh, assistance in finding uh, trash bins to dispose the garbage. Uh, our key metrics now, it is uh, important for us uh, to have uh, a high number of uh, application downloads, uh, to have uh, also a high rating uh, on our application, and uh, the ideal scenario would be to have uh, no accidents that uh, occur uh, from the use of our application. Uh, the unique bug proposition now, uh, we offer many different uh, assistance for blind people, and all that in just uh, one application. There is no need for uh, extra equipment for uh, the blind people. And uh, it is really easy to use, no need uh, to know about uh, technological stuff, about the computers also. And uh, our high level concept it is that uh, the city should be more uh, friendly towards the blind people. Uh, our unfair advantage now. Um, this is actually something uh, we believe it's a uh, really innovative. Uh, there is no other application uh, like this uh, on the market. This provides uh, both navigation and combines many other options for the blind people all in one. Um, our channels, the path to the customers, uh, it's going to be throughout uh, the municipality authorities. Um, our target customers are, of course, the blind people. And uh, as for uh, the early adapters, it can be tested on a small group of blind people. At a particular region, uh, the cost uh, structure uh, mentioned before by Tassos, we can see again the same things. And uh, as for the revenue streams, uh, it's actually not really important for us to make a lot of, pro a lot of profit out of it, but um, to really help those people, so we're going to sign contracts with each municipality which is interested in participating. And uh, as a result, all costs uh, from it are going to be paid by the municipal funds and from the European Union. So that's it. Uh, so thank you. And I uh, would like to close with a quote from Helen Keller. Thank you for your time. Um, I have seen that uh, they have, uh, have proposed a, um, a radar-like uh, system mm -hmm. uh, in uh, 77 uh, gigahertz. Uh, how you found it? Uh, actually, I, I, I mean, uh, there is also alternatives. How you select this? Uh, I looked in many different uh, types of uh, radars and sensors, and I thought that this was the most uh, suitable uh, one. Why? Because, uh, for example, the LiDAR is more popular. I have used the, the robotic systems to, to navigate the, yeah, and to yeah. search for the in area. They, they have used in, uh, in uh, cars without uh, drivers, for example. Yes, I also look in yeah, identify. Okay, okay, yes. Uh, 
the second question is about the, uh, the, the problem of transfer uh, that information to the, uh, to the blind people through the smartphone, I think. Yeah. You have a uh, thing. Uh, how do you take the similar the, the 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 position of the of the person and how to to establish communication because the the, the people that that will work in the in the city may have the problem of change the stations. You have a lot of radars. How you have changed the, the you sent? You have a lot of of stations that have. Uh, the information about the obstacles, and you have the people that uh, the blind people that uh, they go uh, around the, the city. How you establish the information? You send this information to the specific people. You are stay here, and you your obstacle in, in your right is uh, two meters, for example. Oh, uh, did you mean uh, they they will have instructions? All the instructions for the blind people, isn't that? Yes. Okay. Yeah, there are some similar pro uh, programs with uh, with all these also uh, for blind people, so they can navigate with these instructions. And if find the right, uh, the position of the person will be uh, through GPS. Ah, probably the level. You, you know the. So. Uh, I've heard uh, the, the the app will take a uh, one image of the street that the blind person is walking, only one uh, maybe two hundred meters. Okay, so uh, in this map uh, that I showed briefly, uh, there will be the obstacles. We don't care with the, what kind of obstacles they are. And the, the app will transform this map into instructions. That's why we need AI. Yeah. And that's what we got. That's okay. Thank that's you. Another one. It's very uh, clear. Can you shortly describe your business plan? A business plan includes investment, costs, uh, running costs, retail costs, but also revenue, revenue streams. In and out. Uh, can you give a short uh, Our product is, uh, is about uh, how municipalities can help uh, blind people in, in big cities. So the the goal of uh, this app is not uh, to make money for the municipality, but uh, to make uh, to help them help them uh, make uh, the lives of the citizens easier. Uh, we, we are not selling them uh, because you mentioned your customer are blind people. Uh, but it's good. It's good. Uh, yes. Uh, I mean, your target group is the blind yeah. people, not, not yeah. your customer yeah. target group. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Your customer will be the municipality. Uh, uh, yeah. This is designed for. You are planning to sell your idea to the municipality. The municipality. It is designed for the municipality, but uh, our target group to serve is uh, blind people. Okay. Do we have time for one more question? I have two questions. Uh, first of all, you said something about beans and uh, that uh, you can tell the blind people where the bean is. How do you do that? What uh, sensor? They will use the uh, tracking devices that will tell Leo mm -hmm. like uh, the system. And then as I get right. You think that a GPS can say like here is a bin? Uh, yes, it, it, it is done. Uh, this uh, signal is from the bin, so we know every bin, every every moment uh, where where it is. Okay. And uh, the last question: uh, How you think that blind people are going to give all that money? For that big investment, yeah. that's interesting. So it's a bit difficult uh, because it's a big investment for the blind people. But uh, we can, uh, if a municipality needs to have an infrastructure 
so they run the group, they should do something like that. And I think uh, we we know that they can get some easy funds from from the business unit, and so it will not be so possible. Thank you, guys. Thank you.
So they want you to be audible and your time starts now. Okay, so honorable judges, as themed organizing committee, ladies and gentlemen, is it is truly a pleasure for us to be a part of this year's national event competition. Let's talk a bit about our program. More than 1% of the entire human population and over 30 million people only in Europe are considered living blind. So, physical movement and going from one place to another is undeniably the biggest problem that a blind person has to face. Well, the biggest challenge for a legally blind is to navigate their own place. So, we call it mobility, and we ha uh, it's our main concern. Basically, they depend on others for many of their needs, and we don't want this to continue anymore. We want to minimize the use of uh, traditional earphones in order to decrease some truck accidents that might happen because uh, they couldn't hear the uh, cars coming. At the same time, it's inaccessible, the equipment needed, due to its high price. But we have tried and made a really uh, cost-effective cost yeah. solution. Well, our solution has three components. The application, the Navi glasses, and the Navi shoes. Firstly, uh, the, the application exchanges data between the shoes and the glasses. At the same time, the Navisense application will be in cooperation with Google Maps uh, in order to provide to the other devices information about the destination that the blind person needs to follow in order to reach. Now we'll continue with uh, the shoes. Uh, the device that we have designed is going to be added in the shoes. It consists of two microcontrollers, two ultrasonic sensors, one for each shoe, and a band with, more, with four small vibrators, as Christina showed us. The sensor will collect uh, data from the surrounding environment and will transfer it to the microcontroller. The controller will command one of the four vibrators and basically, the left or the right vibrator will uh, vibrate to warn the person in order to um, avoid the obstacle near to follow the left or the right path. Okay, so let's talk about a bit uh, the glasses. Just the glasses, the sunglasses component of our system, um, offers a two in one solution for wearing sunglasses and at the same time wearing headsets. So, the special part about the Navi glasses is that we have used a different kind uh, of transmitting sound to the, um, a person, not by placing uh, a device on top of an ear or inside an ear, but rather by vibrating the back bones of the skull uh, through a technique that's called bone conduction mechanism. So, that a person can hear their surrounding uh, sounds can have a sense of their environment and also hear the navigation instructions. Also, the sunglasses will have um, lenses specifically uh, developed for people with high uh, light sensitivity. Okay, for more questions on our system, you can ask us uh, later in the question section. So, let's talk a bit about our marketing strategy and especially about our unique selling proposition. As a thing, um, now, the sense has followed blue sky painting uh, through a creative and original approach. Now, the sense can and will disrupt the existing businesses in the sectors such as the ones that produce sticks for the blind or the ones that are training um, specific breeds of dogs. Also, we can eliminate the use of um, conventional in ear or headphones that block their surroundings and isolate the blind person. Thus, we can minimize the danger of um, accidents happening in blind uh, on the streets uh, that include blind pedestrians and vehicles. Uh, we think that this, uh, these things makes our system not only um, effective but also disruption free and, of course, um, a market disrupting solution for today. Okay, so the Navisense application will be distributed through the App Store and the Play Store. 
and the corresponding hardware is going to be available for sale on our website. Uh, since our target group is very specific, as you understand, we're going to promote our product through existing organizations that help the blind, but we're also going to collaborate with big organizations such as insurance companies uh, and sell them and sell to them our user data analytics and possibly with the research institutes that uh, could potentially help us with future projects. Um, now, the unfair advantage of Navisense is that our clients, by purchasing a product, are sort of introduced to a Navisense ecosystem. And that ecosystem uh, is, uh, provides an optimal user experience and therefore eliminates the need for additional products. Well, in order to ensure that our company uh, is operating effectively, profitably, and reaches the desired uh, audience, we monitor some specific metrics, such as the sales metrics via sales growth and average profit value, the marketing metrics via conversion rate and organic traffic, and the, and the financial metrics, the burn rate, and the operation efficiency. As far as the timeline of the product concept, we have an estimated time to market of 15 to 16 weeks. In most days, design is approximately in two weeks. The app developed three months, and testing of the product is three to four weeks. Moreover, the preparation of shared material and the cost market activities are also included during the three weeks testing. Okay, so uh, about the audience, we firmly believe that. Each and every person that has uh, a disability, a visual disability, or is completely blind, um, is benefited by our system. So, Navisense is offering an essential tool for anyone, uh, any person who has this disability. And our target group, specifically in the EU, are, of course, private individuals that will need this technology, private institutes that deal with. Um, with persons with uh, these kinds of disabilities, and why not, hopefully, uh, some parts of the public sector. Um, also, the estimated cost of the whole project is calculated around uh, 150 to 155,000 uh, uh, euros. Specifically, the cost of development of the application is around um, 25,000 to 30. Um, maintenance is uh, 30,000 per year, which, uh, uh, sorry, 3,000 per year, sorry, uh, which includes uh, the update of the app, the debugging of the whole code, and of course, adding new features and updating um, the, um, our application based on the user's feedback, and initial hardware cost at around 125, and marketing at 50,000. Now, uh, about the revenue streams. Such an innovative project is likely to have multiple revenue sources. Individuals that uh, are visually impaired may buy to guarantee their safety. At the same time, we might have some product placement from companies that might want to advertise themselves, themselves uh, via our project. Uh, at the same time, we're going to sell analytics to companies such as uh, insurance ones. NGOs and foundations might also be interested and finally, the NSFR, a program of the European Union, might also want to fund us, uh, since it uh, tends to fund startups. It's ESPA, as we commonly know here in Greece. Finally, some further developments about our project. We're going to promote it internationally, and not uh, only in the European Union. And we're going to refine it and develop further the application and fix certain bugs that might uh, be in the first no project. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We Thank were you. Uh, the team of uh, Nazis. We were the team from the National Technical and University of Athens. Nikos, Kotis, Epadinos, and Christina. Thank you for your patience. Um, uh, you have a very interesting idea, but. Uh, there are some bad news. Uh, for example, the ultrasound sensors, if you have, uh, even in uh, light winds, does not work. Or in the rain, it's 
completely blind. Oh yeah, actually, do you want to answer about that? Okay, actually, uh, um, actually, me and uh, Nikos are working in a robotics team, so we know all about these kind of sensors. Outdoors, I know, but I'm also working in robotics. Okay, let me and, tell you. Okay. If we cover it with some kind of plastic, it can work. If no, 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 no. If, if, if you have rain, the yes. the, the, the water uh, has uh, reflections, yeah, and that's, that's you true. have problem. Okay. What I'm thinking of uh, though is that maybe a blind person will not want to go uh, outside during the ra during the a rainy period for the reason that. Do you have another solution? Uh, let, let me tell you. Okay. A blind person cannot go in the rain due to the fact that their hearing will be disrupted as well from the sound of the rain. Okay. Do you all agree with that? Okay. Furthermore, uh, if we get feedback from the, from our user our users that they live in places such as London or rainy places and they cannot use our application, we can further develop it, as we said, um, in our future plans. Uh, do you have a, another type of sensor that, uh, that can be used efficiently outdoors? Okay, maybe we, we could place some kind of a camera using AI, but this would, uh, of course... Camera increase. is expensive. Like camera is expensive, but if we use, like, a kind of camera with Raspberry Pi uh, instead of Arduino, we could maybe try to, to mm -hmm. fix this. But mm -hmm. of course, this this would increase the cost. Can I add something to that? Okay, the camera is only going to get the data, and the data is going to be processed uh, in the cell phone, so the cost is, won't be too big. Uh, we won't need more uh, processing power. For example, the, uh, Probably you can use you can use a camera with uh, laser uh, beams uh, uh, in a short duration, for example, to, to detect uh, uh, distances. But are you sure that this device will not uh, be will be okay in, in a rainy? Are you sure? Okay, we're noting that it for be a future development. our further development. Then. <laughs> Thank you very it's much it's for uh, your during our research thing. phase. We're going to tackle those problems. Yes. <coughs> Question: Which additional expertise do you need in the development phase? Okay, and, so and are also you, and also the promotion phase. Okay, are you talking about? I think you're talking about. Uh, let's go to the slide of the business plan and the, specifically the cost. You're talking about the cost phase. No, no. Uh, in the development phase. Okay. Product okay. development phase. Okay. I mean, you, you are a perfect team. So very, very, very good to get the people and, and, and with a uh, great idea. But I cannot, I cannot imagine that you will that, that cover the total area uh, and the total knowledge which is needed in order to go ahead, in order to develop this, so uh, to realize your idea. So you're thinking about human resources, right? I'm thinking about, about expertise. Expertise. Okay. Do you want to talk about the yeah. application? Okay. First of all, we're going to need a few programmers. Partnership. Ah. Sources. Okay. I mean, you're not alone on the whole. Okay. Other than, apart from uh, the people that we're going to hire, we may um, collaborate with startups that are also using AI for different purposes. And of course, they will benefit from us since we're going to advertise them. It will not be a, a, an additional cost for us, hopefully, or maybe not a really high cost that we cannot cover. Other than that, other than uh, the IOP expertise, are you uh, are you asking about our marketing strategies, right? How will we promote promotion? Okay, so uh, about our marketing strategies, what um, the the other people in my team said is that we um, are tar we said something about corporate affiliates. So maybe you should talk about the the go to market strategy. Uh, we must have in our we're going to of course have a website an application. We're going to have their uh, product placements in order other uh, companies to be promoted. Um, it, we might also go to some. Um, um, we're basically going to focus on existing organizations that tend to blind. Exhibitions of, uh, of health uh, materials. Yes, but and there is going we're, to promote. Them. I'm sorry. Since we're talking about only. 0.01% of the population, we cannot use 
advertisement in general, such as uh, the television or such. So what what is said, and what I'm going to repeat because we think that it's really important, is that we're going to promote this through um, institutions that are helping the blind. So if we promote this to hospitals or research centers or um, centers that are yeah. uh, providing help, they can promote this directly to the 0.01% of the population. And we'd also like to mention the health exhibitions uh, yeah. about uh, such stuff. Okay. If you want to make time for one more question. Yes, I don't understand what you say about uh, technology or in behind okay. of the bone of the ear okay. and okay. the glasses. Could you please uh, go to the slide uh, of the of our product, please? Okay. If you see um, in our uh, in our paper that we have handed to you, we have a more detailed uh, picture, but we didn't include it here. And you can see it though. Which describes a mechanism that has started now to be developed, which is the following. So, we have some vibrators, actually um, it's um, a special kind of vibrators that are using a signal and are making the, the signal from the Bluetooth to a vibration that is translated from the, the movement of uh, the, yeah. the back of the bone as a sound. So imagine, how are the sound waves that are coming through the air? This is not coming through the air, it's coming through the movement of our side. It's kind of the same thing, although the molecules here are a bit, you know, a bit stronger and uh, the, whole, the whole thing is different, but the sound thing is almost the same as, as uh, the thing uh, that's coming through the air and, and what you're hearing right now. So you're, we're going to vibrate the back of the scalp and it has the same result without touching any part of the ear and without uh, stopping any sound wave that's coming from the air uh, to get in uh, inside the ear. And if I might add, uh, it will also replace the earphones that we mentioned, uh, which have caused certain uh, uh, traffic accidents. So to... Imagine if a blind person had to wear even one headphone in order to hear the navigation uh, information. So if a car would come from the, the, this direction that uh, the person is wearing the headphones, a bad thing would happen. Okay, good. Thank okay, you. Guys. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And thank you for writing uh, something that we hadn't thought about. <laughs> we will uh, we think about it. Thank you. It's very good. Ah. We can take a picture.